moving around everywhere. I don't know if this is how this was. So I um, woke up earlier at 15. My, st my stage manager woke me up because uh, we went out for a couple of drinks last night, which is the first time I've gone out at all during this festival. Um, and then I was going to shower, but everyone in my 10 person house had used up all the hot water, which is fine. That's how it works. So I had a baby wipe shower. And then we went to um, my venue for show Medusa Incarnate, my show. And then I did a 10.30 a.m. show to people who had clearly just woken up. <laughs> and I was like, shame, me too, guys, it's hard. Um, and then I finished the show and I turned my phone on and I was like, oh, guys, you know, it's okay. Like, 10 30 a.m. is like a top audience, whatever. We'll like keep working. And then I got a bunch of messages from people um, saying, like, congratulations. And I was like, what? Um, and then someone had sent me a screenshot and I found out Medusa had won an ovation award, which is like crazy. So then I cried in <laughs> Masonic Front and the techies were like, can you please move your stuff out? Um, but yeah, it was a very exciting day. The whole set for my show. Um, for Medusa that we couldn't leave at the venue like little bits of lots of pink plasticky bits and pieces um, There's a microphone and a mic cord that belongs to a comedian in front of mine Phil DeLong that we're using for my other show There's a map because it's my dad's car and he uses maps still um, And there's like a really big extension cord that I thought I would definitely need in Gravestown and no one has needed <laughs> Ooh, undo, yeah. Um, butterfly clips. I haven't, I've never worn a giant size curly toy. Okay, my brother and I have already planned out our zombie apocalypse strategy, so we're definitely gonna do it. Um, and then I feel like bear girls would be good. And I don't want a bigger team. I think they'll slow us down. I think we're enough. Mean girls. <laughs> what am I doing at festival? Um, I'm doing three shows, uh, Medusa Incarnate, which is a one-woman contemporary retelling of the mythological classical Greek Medusa myth. It's like a lot of fun, like reimagining her if she was dead and how she could tell her own story. But I wrote and Dara Beth directed, um, Josh Biggs did sound. I've like the most amazing team working. Um, that's my solo show, it's my first ever like solo theater project thing, which is very terrifying and a lot of fun. Um, then I'm also part of a really amazing show called Gaslight, which is looking at how um, social media and AI can infiltrate relationships. And it's about this couple and I play an AI system from offstage, which is very exciting. And then I'm doing, uh, for the third year running, my stand-up lineup show called Lambs to the Laughter. Um, and this year I just have a bunch of guest comedians. Um, every show so we have like a rotating lineup so every show is different bunch of comics a lot of fun and then I'm hopefully jumping on a couple of other lineups doing some stand-up and sleeping <laughs> at some point in my life but it's been super cool I'm having the best festival